the light of your captain may shine alone repeat your love come on put his hands together give him praise God wants us to wear his glory hallelujah somebody shout hallelujah Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Are you ready for the word this morning? Let me call your attention. I believe the only book that bears the name of a woman in the Bible so smart Bible students what book is that amen it's not the only book there is another one but Esther is a book amen you know about Ruth also okay but let's look at Esther chapter 1 this morning. Esther chapter 1. There are some truths that I believe God wants to share with us. We will give you maybe a gist of it this morning because of time. And then as time goes by, we'll continue to unfold the different nuggets or the revelations that we find in this passage. The book of Esther is a powerful book and like I mentioned, it's actually one of the two books in the Bible that carries the name of a woman. And these books are powerful and they teach us a lot of truth. And if you are there, can you say amen? Chapter 1, and I'm reading verse 1 down. We'll read a couple of verses. And it says, Now it came to pass in the days of Ahasuerus. This is Ahasuerus which reigned from India even unto Ethiopia over a hundred and seven and twenty provinces. And this guy was a very powerful king. Reigning over 127 provinces from India unto Ethiopia and in those days that is such a great realm verse 2 that in those days when the king Ahasuerus sat on the throne of his kingdom which was in Shushan the palace in the third year of his reign he made a feast unto all his princes and his servants the power pressure the media the nobles and princes of the provinces being before him verse 4 when he showed the riches of his glorious kingdom and the honor of his excellent majesty many days even in a hundred and four score days now this is not a short feast it lasted for 180 days this is to show how powerful rich king will have a feast 
for 180 days, he must be a man of worth, a man of wealth, a man of substance. Verse 5. And when these days were expired, the king made a feast unto all the people that were present in Susan the palace, both unto great and small, seven days in the court of the guarding of the king's palace. Says, where were white grain and blue hangings fasting with cords of fine linen and purple and silver rings and pillars of marble the bears were of gold and silver upon a pavement of red and blue and white and black marble this was a colorful pageantry of royalty Verse 7 And they gave them drink in vessels of gold, vessels being diverse one from another, and royal wine in abundance according to the state of the king. And the drinking was according to the law, none did compel. For so the king had appointed. To all the officers of his house that they should do according to every man's pleasure. Verse 9 Also Vasta or Vasti, however you call it Vasta the queen made a feast for the women in the royal house which belonged to King Ahasuerus. Verse 10 on the seventh day when the heart of the king was merry with wine he commanded Mehuman Bishpha Habona Bigpha and Abakpha Zita and Kakas the seven chamberlains that served in the presence of Ahasuerus the king 11 to do what? To bring Vashta the queen before who? The king. Vashta is summoned to come before the king with the royal crown to show the people and the princess her beauty. For she was fair or beautiful to look on. Verse 12, but, this is not a good but, but the queen, Vashta, refused to come at the king's commandment of the Chamberlains. Therefore was the king very wroth, and his anger burned in him. Then the king said to the wise men which knew the time, for so was the king's man unto all that knew the law and judgment. And next unto him was Kashina, Shepha, Atmantha, Tashish, Meres, Masina, Memucan, the seven princes of Persia and Media. We saw the king's face. And we sat the first in the kingdom. 15. What shall we do unto the queen? Vashta. According to law, because she has not performed the commandment of the king, Ahasuerus, by the chamberlain. And Memuka answered before the king and the princes. Vashta the queen has not done wrong to the king only, but also to all the princes and all the people that are in all the provinces of the king Ahasuerus. For this deed of the queen shall come abroad 
unto all women so that they shall despise their husbands in their eyes and when it shall be reported the king Ahasuerus commanded Vashtar the queen to be brought in before him but she came not likewise shall the ladies of Portia and Media say this day unto all kings princes which have heard of the deed of the queen thus shall there arise too much contempt and wrath verse 19 if they please the king let them go a royal commandment from him and let it be written among the lords of the Persians and the Medes that it be not altered let it not be changed that Vasta come no more before king has Hazarus and let the king give her royal estate unto another that is better than she we could just read the, the rest of the verses later on there are many to read but you already have a clear picture those of you who probably were not familiar with the book of Esther you now have a clear picture what transpired in this particular biblical narrative before you take your seat this is very powerful king is having a celebration of seven days that climaxes 180 days of pomp and pageantry and at this time the king is displaying the riches the splendor and the majesty of his glorious kingdom And everyone is seated. And the king summons the queen to appear. So that her royalty, her dignity, and her beauty will be displayed. Does this look like the king is trying to disgrace the queen? Let the people see what a royal queen that makes this kingdom great. Let them see her. But the queen said I have other important things that I am doing so tell the king I'm sorry I cannot come let's pray Lord we pray for revelation knowledge we pray that you will speak to us And even as we introduce the revelations in this book, this morning we pray that the light of your glory will shine upon us. And I pray, Lord God, let not one person leave this place this morning without an indelible impart of your anointing, of the truth that transforms. And let your name be glorified in Jesus' precious name. Amen. You may be seated. God bless you. We just heard about the recalcitrance or the stubborn will of a woman. To all 
the king who happens to be your husband and so in the concluding verses a question was asked what shall be done to this high headed queen what should we do so that we will not set a bad precedent in the kingdom that was a similar question that was asked and that one was concerning a man by the name of Mordecai in the same book for as uh, for 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 Vashta, she has dishonor the king but in the case of Mordecai he had honored the king by doing something commendable because there were attempts to assassinate the king that disgruntled subjects who supposed to demonstrate loyalty to the king but they were disgruntled for one thing or another after murmuring against the king for some time they plan to assassinate the king and then Mordecai the Jew heard their plot and he leaked the secret to the king when the investigation was done these men were guilty and had it not been for Mordecai the king would have been assassinated by these disgruntled men so the question was also asked when the king later on now discover what Mordecai did so the king said what should be done to the man whom the king delights to honor and I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving these different babes and pieces in different facets of the story because there is a thought that the Holy Spirit plays in my heart the king's honorary the king wants to honor somebody and last you become distracted by this king we are talking about and forget that there is a king who is greater than all the kings of the earth we call him the king of kings and the lord of lords somebody say amen the king's honorary it means somebody who is qualified to receive honor from the king how many of you want the honor of the king this morning hallelujah i want to share with you a few truths and like i said time would not permit us to go through everything that's necessary that is why it is important that when you come to church today you come to church again the next time when we gather and you come again the next time when we gather because if you don't come then you will only have partial understanding amen so we want to talk about this honorary who is an honorary because the king is looking for someone to honor but who is an honorary an honorary is one to whom a merited respect privilege or recognition is shown an honorary is a person of superior standing one whose worth brings respect or fame 
honorary demonstrates the evidence or symbol of distinction hallelujah praise the name of the lord glory to god in the highest so what we read in the passage of scripture that when vista was summoned by the king to be honored she turned away the king's request because she believed or thought in her heart there were other things that were important compared to the king's desire let us put the scripture into perspective I've already told you the king that we want to zero in on as we look at King Ahasuerus is the king of the whole earth when out of thousands of people in your nation out of millions of people in the world when the king of kings and the lord of laws places his hands upon you and he chooses you to declare you are mine you should count yourself privileged blessed honorable and nobody should underestimate the worth of someone that the king has made his own oh i don't know if i'm talking to people this morning who understand where, where, where the Holy Spirit is speaking something this morning if you are chosen by the king you are special that's why in the book of first Peter it says you are a chosen generation not only that he says you are a royal priesthood all those that God has called out of darkness into his marvelous light the Bible says you are a chosen generation you are a royal priesthood you are a holy nation he called you out of darkness into his marvelous light that you will come into his presence and show forth his praises reflect radiate his glory the king had chosen appointed and called you to shine forth his glory in other words the king wants to break on you the king wants to tell principalities and powers you said nothing good can come out of him you said nothing good will ever come out of her life but come and see what i have done with his life come and see what i've accomplished with her life what i have change in her that has made us special and royal the king wants to break on you somebody say i hear you hallelujah glory to god in the highest those who are blessed are the ones who when the king calls upon them they forget about themselves because every time or any time you consider somebody a king you are saying by what you confess that this person reigns supreme that this person has a rule this person's will is what comes first it's not what i want but it is what the king wants it is not my desire and my priorities but the priorities of the king 
those are the ones that matter the most the songwriter said Lord you are all that matters and because you are all that matters I put you in front not behind hallelujah some of us we say we are serving the king but his priorities are not number one in our lives if other things matter to you more than what the king desires then you are making a mistake and you are making an error comparable to that of Vashti what could be more important the Vashti then when the king has summoned her to come into his presence and you know the story Vaista lost her place of honor and prominence in the kingdom Vaista was eventually stripped of her royalty because of a lack of honor and reverence to the presence of the king listen there are many things we learn in the bible both old and new testament and we can see the scriptural application even in our very lives when the king delays in you appearing before him but the king's delight is not your delight it may not be because the king hates you but your desire to be in other places rather than in the presence of the king automatically in itself causes you to begin a process of being distanced from the king and when you become distanced from the king even though royalty may have become your portion but you by virtue of your decision to dishonor the king is also a decision to walk away from royalty is somebody listening to what I'm saying this morning and I believe this message it is supposed to be a message where each of us will take an introspective look at ourselves. Look inside yourself. Nobody is supposed to tell you how much honor does a king have in your life. How much honor? Where is the reverence and the respect of the king if you say you honor the king I believe God is speaking to his church and I told you you have some time before whatever we do for God we have to make sure that it is real no you we can't pretend about it if you're doing it for God and you're pretending who are you fooling the Bible says man looks on the outward appearance but God looks on the heart so the question is do you honor God in your heart Jesus one day in the Old Testament rebuked the Pharisees and he says these people honor me with their lips but their heart is far from me what kind of scenario do we have today in the church world the people sing song because they know how to sing the song they learn the lyrics you can download the lyrics of any song and you can sing it but singing song just because 
you learn a song doesn't mean you are glorifying God. Singing song, joining in church with other members on Sunday morning, and then your noise is part of the noises that have been sounded. Doesn't necessarily mean you are glorifying the king. The glory of the king comes from a reality that flows from your heart. So when I declare, Lord, I hail you, Lord, I worship you. This is not just a song I'm singing because I learned it, but deep down in my heart, I know he is my king. Deep down in my heart, I know he is my burden bearer. Deep down in my heart, I know he is my all in all. My question to you this morning, is the king of glory your all in all? Hallelujah. Vaista, the queen, took the command of the king for granted. Hallelujah. And apparently, because of what I call familiarity, somebody say familiarity. Familiarity simply means you become too familiar with somebody that is very important. But your familiarity causes you to begin to dishonor that person. Get too used to God. And first I became familiar with the king. After all, I am the king's bride. The king married me. And I am the only one who has access to the king than anyone else. If I want to see him now, I will see him. So let him wait here. I'm not ready yet. Let him wait. And he said, Vasta, the king is calling you. All the people here. Becoming familiar. Too familiar. Over familiar. And they have a saying that familiarity breeds content. She was familiar because she has seen the king from time to time. The king's love and affection for Vashta did not just make her to be appreciative, she became full of pride. Prideful. And what happened? She abused the privileged position that she occupied being the object of the faster apparently I will share those few things that Vasta forgot and then we'll bring this one in today don't forget uh, I can't hear you. Say, don't forget. Don't forget where he brought you from. Brought you. Where he has brought you. Shout hallelujah. I tell you a few things. Number one, she forgot that being the queen for the king was 
Listen. It's beautiful. But the question is. So she was occupied. Is somebody follow me? There were many would have chosen, but he decided to call Vasta. Somebody say she forgot. Number two, that the king's priority over her priorities. Don't ever forget that. How many of us that God has to glorify him? And whenever are now beginning to take the things of God for granted. When the first to enter during our upbringing, the church doors never to go to worship Him. Hallelujah! I share with you one time, and with you one. I mean two times a day so Worship God in the house of God 14 times We didn't have day off Well only just one or two days The king we got too many important things that are happening We are actually dishonoring God. First off, for the should be of importance other than the my presence. Beloved, you can never. Go back the same way. You see, the king can give you. We find instead of going to the presence of the king, don't waste your time. Go in, Go in the morning, also in the evening. Some people are looking can just offer you free of the longer. Priorities set for. In the end, we become a bunch of disappointed people. Blame for our crisis. You know when someone goes. God gives you fresh bread. You are blessed. You are blessed. Ah, how many of us used to sing that? Used to how be some? How be 
is somewhere waiting for me. Hallelujah. And when he calls, no. He's come. Some of some of us. When he says, worship me. Glory to God in our Your life when you are. Share with me something. That there is a truth that almost people lay like they don't believe it. Believe that God is I like you know it is true. Oh, it is. makes it look like we really don't believe please call say I feel like you know it is true many times the way that it is just an indication that we don't believe Him with you, and you know he. So by the time was with you, anything can begin to get it's a means by which you can help yourself out. Out. Predicament. The fight here is brings you out of that thing. No one else can take you out of it. Christ is in your life. Nothing else can end it. Faster. The queen forgot. God. And say, say to somebody, it's dangerous. She forgot God. She would have remained as one of the ordinary women in the world. Change her life and change her through the marital union. She would have been called Mrs. Yes. So that was married to the king. Certain thing. The privileges and benefits that you have in life. The Lord decided. When you cried out to Him, He forgave you. his child because at the privileges and benefits you have you will not have the same privileges if just in case I for a long time until the king opened 
never ever going to enter those doors. Then the thing that you forget that to worship him is important. You know. and people will just throw dirty water because of your connection with the king honor him I'm talking about hallelujah will not even be having a house to rent. When they get tired with you, they cheek you up. You know, we're going, but God is so stabilized. Now you are looking at the things he gave you. She forgot some. She forgot. King had not adorned her. Then nothing to amplify. She would have this on the king. A royal height. Who paid for that crown? Let her come and display the If the and everything that made her Before, when she was living with her, Nobody it's what leads to ink. You have a bunch of people. Church here, yeah, and I want to go to. I want to control my own life. Oh, look at you. Oh, look. The plenty talking at you. Controlling it. it. Don't be foolish to forget. That the beauty she all of his guests were with simply because you think that was For God, that she was 
presence of the king was by the king with no was to just with a sense of gratitude All she was required, she was dress up herself. Oh, your royal highness, royal, royal highness. If God had not. Be like other people. The call away from the interior. Be homo. Would have been like an honorable person for distinction. Well, other people would have been the doorkeeper, the security. Things get really hard. Security. You know, since the blue holders, blue holders, they have nothing to feel. They lie about the lie. It's very weak. You go your lad, they give you 200 years. You go your Some of you would have been left. <laughs> to be your disposition. This in the past. The choir came in, sing came. That don't even the little did they realize that they are realized. Listen to this. I'm to things. of approaching the you can't you oh no of Somebody when I want you to listen to this window. Come boldly to the throne of.
dressing you up. The only people in this royal room He purchased the robe. And because God He offered any time any Do you have Get blessings from his presence of humility. Pay for it. So why should you be proud and arrogant? I'm nothing. Go to that church. And then if I don't care, I will see you. You better shut up. Does vast time to be proud? On the front again. You know what? The score If I mess up Is a request. 
we don't That you are yeah. only because the first Come to that. Bro. I don't know. I'm mad, I'm mad.
Thank you. 